Okwal Chinono faces jail time over fake news. Renowned Zimbabwean journalist and activist, Hopewell Chinono, is facing possible imprisonment after being accused of peddling false information. Chinono claimed that the ruling party ZANU-PF and politician Obert Mbofu were behind the invasion of Amvucha farm. However, the owners of the farm have come forward to strongly denounce Hopewell Chinono's allegations, labeling them as fake news. The controversy began when Chinono made the claims on his social media platforms, asserting that ZANU-PF and Pofu were responsible for the invasion of Amvucha farm. The farm owners were quick to publicly refute these claims, stating that Chinono's allegations were entirely baseless and an attempt to spread false information to tarnish their reputation. Despite the unequivocal denial from the farm owners, Hopewell Chinono has refused to retract his statement or issue a public apology to ZANU-PF and Obert Mbofu. This refusal has further aggravated his case, leading to his impending prosecution. Authorities within Zimbabwe's legal system have taken notice of Chinono's actions and are pursuing legal action against him. This could potentially lead to his imprisonment if found guilty of spreading false information and refusing to rectify his statement. The seriousness of the charges underscores the importance of responsible journalism and the consequences of misinformation in society. This development has sparked a wider debate about the role of journalism and the responsibility of journalists to verify information before disseminating it to the public. Fake news and misinformation have become significant challenges in the digital age, and this case serves as a reminder of the potential consequences individuals may face for spreading false information. Hopewell Chinono, known for his activism and investigations into corruption within Zimbabwe, has garnered both praise and criticism for his work. However, this recent incident has drawn criticism from various quarters including the farm owners and supporters of ZANU-PF, who view his actions as malicious and damaging to their reputations. As Chinono awaits his day in court, the outcome of the case will undoubtedly carry significant implications for the future of journalism and freedom. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.